All right, Cynthia Vreeland, a well-known Detroit Lions fan, NFL network analyst. She did her mock draft 2.0. Now, I got no problem with the ladies. I love the ladies. I love the ladies. And I love when they're interested in football. It makes it, It's fantastic. Ladies and football, great combination in every way. Okay, so nothing, nothing about that bothers me. But the mock, however, her, her mock draft is something to be uh, desired for the Detroit Lions. Now, according to Miss Cynthia Vreeland, this is her first five picks. She has C.J. Stroud going to the Carolina Panthers. That's going to be a, a big debate whether who goes one, who, who goes two. Uh, Bryce Young to the Houston Texans. Will Anderson Jr. just refuses to get past the Arizona Cardinals. I think it's going to be some surprises in this draft, by the way. The Indianapolis Colts, after a stellar pro day from Anthony Richardson. That's two bang-bangs in a row. He had a great uh, combine and an even better pro day. So he might go top 10. I don't know. Going to the Indianapolis Colts. Number five, Tyree Wilson. She has going to the Seattle Seahawks. And number six, Kalijah Kansi. I'm I'm not bothered by this at all. I, I like this. I know this is a little high to some people. A lot of people think we can get him at 18. Kalijah Kansi at 18. As a matter of fact, let me bring in this other shot so you guys can see. So she has Kalijah Kansi at 18. And that's that's a little high, but, you know, that's cool. We need a defensive tackle. Jalen Carter has potential character issues, all right? Will the Lions take him? I don't know. Dan Campbell has talked to some of his teammates, his friends, everybody. They know who they're going to get, and we'll find out April 27th. But I wouldn't be mad at this at all. Feels a need. Great player. We need this guy. We can use this guy. Okay, now, we're going to come back around here. All right? We're going to come to this screen because I want to I want to cue this up. Because as a Detroit Lions fan, this gives me – a sort of PTSD. There's two positions that will give me that. Cornerback and this one right here. With the eighth pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Dalton Kincaid at 18 out of Utah. Now, he's like the second highest rated. It's, it's between him and Michael Mayer. But why, Cynthia? Why, why, why? Would you have the Detroit Lions taking a tight end? I know Dan Campbell, our coach, former tight end, loves his tight end. But here's the here's here's what okay. I wouldn't understand. We traded away TJ Hawkinson, a first round pick tight end, in the middle of his fourth year. We picked up an extra two picks from that trade. We then draft another first round tight end. The year after he left, to me, this makes zero sense. No sense at all. At all. Now, you could say, well, TJ was entering. This would have been year five. We would have had to pay him. We would have had to tag him. We would have had to let him go. Whichever one. All things we could have done. So TJ could have realistically been on his team for two and a half more years. Even three. We can throw a tag on, I think, two years in a row, right? But why would we take a tight end anywhere in the first round? I don't care how good they are. We we saw last year, we saw that we didn't really we didn't really miss T.J. Hawkinson when T.J. Hawkinson was gone. We didn't really miss him. Brock Wright, um, Zane Zilstra, Mitchell, they all picked up the the slack. Our offense was almost better without a tight end, without a big name tight end. So for me, Cynthia, this ain't gonna work. This I love Cynthia Freeland. Love that she's a Lions fan. But this here, this is just ridiculous, in my opinion. The Lions, could we use a tight end? We could. We could. You know, we usually have four, I want to say anyway. Somebody probably will be on the practice squad. We didn't pick up one in free agency. But to take one in the first round, I just, I can't get with this. So let me know what you think in the comments below. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Like it says right on my forehead, because we're trying to get to 20, I'm sorry, 10,000. We got to get to 10 first. 10,000 by the NFL Draft, and you can help me do that. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself, and as always, go Lions.